Hi, my name is John Lucas. I'm in the class of ODT, and here is my evaluation and my reflection video. What I learned from this class was maybe the fact that what I really want to do, it just made it more of a confirmation. Um, what I mean by that is I learned everything was it wasn't different like say it's like oh wow I didn't know about that in my industry it was more so um, a refresher of what I already learned from full sale as was um, because I'm a returning student um, from 2011 it kind of changes everything and when I was back then you know everything was just so much a different world but now I'm you know got a little seasoned uh, I do know about some of the industry here and there but the best thing that was great for us is the fact that we got like a little bit of an in-depth of an understanding. Like I think what this class was trying to do was, okay, this is what you want to do. Are you sure? And this is like the core group of people that are also in, in, in the, the industry, the media industry as a whole and these different parts going on. So. It's kind of interesting for this class to have it for you. This is what you, you might think you want to do, but it might, you know, kind of change your perspective. Um, unfortunately, it kind of didn't for me. I love computer animation since high school. I love cartoons since childhood. I love staying computer animation. About this class was the fact that I was able to talk to the instructor, that I was able, that she was willing to give her mobile phone her email address, her work phone, her work extension. She wanted to know that if I had any problems from any day, night or day, that she would be able to get in touch with me or get in touch with me as soon as possible. That was one of the problems that I had in my last class, um, digital literacy, that I would have a question for a teacher and that would be all good. She would answer it, but it two day, two to three days with a response. And within those two to three days, you know, if any full cell student, that can be an assignment from a zero to a hundred, easily like that. One of the things I didn't really like, I guess, I mean, I like the class as a whole, don't get me wrong. But one of the things that I did really like um, was the fact that the due date that you had from Sunday to Wednesday, which is understandable, but it kind of messes with your work schedule and it kind of messes with me as far as my uh, flow of going classes as far as full cell is concerned usually you know I would you know, kind of, my daily routine is from Sunday Monday and Tuesday that's when I gather all the information I need for the week I do a little recon learn what I need to learn and then by Wednesdays and Thursdays and Friday that's when I actually do the work and you know execute and then by Sunday by Saturday and Sunday I'm reviewing to making sure that everything checks out and then by Sunday of course I submit it well, when it's due Wednesday to get the maximum amount of points, it kind of throws me off. And I work and I do do other things and I do go to church and what have you. So once that schedule kind of makes the things a lot more iffy, it makes things a lot more harder. And I do understand that you know everyone has a deadline in any industry and you have to meet those deadlines. But I just didn't feel that as far as making it a little bit earlier than other classes, um, I wasn't really feeling that. Um, the best assignment that I had easily was, I think, the industry websites in the first week. It kind of lets you know, you know, there are different different courses that everyone's going through. Of course, not everyone's in computer animation. And I did know about, you know, the music uh, program, the film program, the gaming program. But it literally, it was obviously, there's much more programs that those has to offer for students. And when they gave me this assignment to look up two websites in my industry, it was it was pretty fun. You know, it was another, like I said earlier, like a refresher. Um, one of the most popular animation magazines, of course, animationmagazine.net. And they were talking about, you know, exactly how much money an animation movie can generate, of how much an impact can have on the box office, like everyone knows Frozen. Um, another thing that I learned about was the Cartoon Saloon, an animation studio. Um, they have a new movie coming out, and it, like I'm looking at it and looking at the trailer for it, like it's a different kind of animation feel. 
Like it's 2D, but at the same time, it um, has that fluent feel that personally that I have that kind of touches my childhood a little bit. Like if it's a 2D animation, like it has that good flow. It's a good, it's a really good movie. They had a, a, a second earlier movie called uh, Secret of the Kells. Great movie to watch. You should really check it out sometime. I mean, it's on Netflix, and that's how I watched it. But one of the things that I liked about it was the fact that you look at the other, the other industry. And the one I looked up was mobile development and Good God of Ohira. That is a whole new world. No Aladdin and Jasmine included. Um, while I'm reading the article of the site, it's almost like it's a different language. Because I've been, you know going to school for computer animation and for art for so long, um, that's kind of like the only thing. Not saying that it's, not saying that I don't know anything else, it's just that it was so new to me, like the, the programs, the, the merger, and like all that, and the fact that mobile development is just really blowing up as an industry within itself because, you know, everyone has a cell phone. You know, everyone has their apps, they have their customization on their phones, and it's just blowing up bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, if you think about it, like with the games, Angry Birds, I can't even begin to tell you about Angry Birds, how that game blew up like no one's business, and that is technically tied into mobile development. And while I'm going through the site, I'm thinking like, wow, this is this is a pretty good industry. It, it, it piqued my interest, to say the least, it piqued my interest. But, as I say earlier, 